Oh, this, this. Oh, yeah, you are moving this way. So we're going to take this way. And you're going to dance for kind of no reason because Arthur can't move anywhere anyway. But you need the experience. And now you have a level. All of five. Which I think has just got to add it to Burn and Heroes. Oh, it can move just far enough. But, and it's honestly my goal to eventually get her. I want her so bad. And I'm very sad I couldn't get her in the first summoning event with her. I get a million fucking face characters, but I can't get characters I actually like. And yes, I have shade at face. I will always throw shade at face. I should move you. Oh no. Because moving them to here would be. I don't know. But then I'd also have to deal with these archers. And I'm not a fan of doing I'm gonna deal with the archers too. Very least, bringing Ford over to where Kyle is and having Enos over where Kyle is is extra healing items for Kyle. And even maybe extra tanks of switching out Ford for Kyle. Definitely not Enos. Enos would not be able to take this abuse. So we have roughly two damage being done. <gasps> okay, we have more problems. Which I thought this might have happened. Yeah, no. Crap baskets. Uh, Nami. Supposed to just emergency. Oh, but she dodged it like a pro. God. Oh. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Goddamn staircase. And they're just fucking swarming. Didn't I buy you another thunder? Oh shit, did I only buy. Oh, I didn't buy you another thunder, I only bought Arthur another thunder. Okay, move forward. Um, no one's good for this. Everyone sucks for resistance, except for like you. So, you know what? I guess I'm leaving Sailor? Because <laughs> I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave my healer behind. Because he's the only other one worthwhile. I will leave Nemi and Sela and maybe Tessa, so in case one of them miss, because they're spawning two at a time. It's awful. Long quarters and this garbage are what I hate. Shit going over here. So maybe Ford will stay off here at some point. Ford? I don't know if I want to keep sailing there. You have three. Take care of this one. You missed! God damn it! That one's supposed to happen. But that's also another good reason to have Enos here. 
because he can take out them when you miss them. Granted, I should maybe just have him do the second time. And that way there's no risk of Ford getting hit that second time. <sighs> Not Ford, Kyle. Damn it, Kyle. <sighs> I'm not gonna remember that. Did he hit? I might not regret sending that door key away. But Skyle's not killing them, and he's frankly missing, which is really annoying right now. But. Oh, you and your fucking longbow. Now this asshole. Oh, I hate these earbuds. I don't even remember where I got these earbuds. I think they might have come with my phone. But I bought new ones from Skull Candy, which are some of my favorite earbuds brands. Um, might be my favorite headphone brand, but. I grew in love with the Soul Republic after my cousin got me a pair of over-ear, and that's when I started converting to over-ear headphones. I just can't use them right now, which actually, played them on my house here, Solution for minor wounds. I think it's 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Yeah, it is 10. Been pissed if it was 20. Because he wasn't at 20 amounts of damage. Okay. Do I still want to bring. Okay. Leave Ward here. Leave Sayla here. And bring Tethys Erica up. Tethys. Dance and move forward, but I guess. Because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Besides trying to move through these without getting utterly wrecked. Because these guys, despite finding them, didn't fucking flinch. And these guys, this one over here, are immediately gunning for me. So, it looks like they might have stopped spawning, so there may be a limit to how many times they'll show up. But otherwise, I think we're done. Oh, you only did one damage. And more limbo bullshit. And it, you know, says, I think a higher dodge. I think, I assume, I hope. Oh, I forgot about the Luna guy. <laughs> Oops. So that's what I still had to do. Okay, nobody else has spawned there, so maybe I can move forward. Just keep these two sort of in the rear if and when they do show up. So you can do this and get your experience. But then you're still gonna stay right there. Now I remember to take you down. Cause I just ignored you because I was trying to switch what ear I had in my headphone. In. Okay. 
I really haven't been using Steel Bow, but I don't really have any others on you. Maybe I should have put Nemi back here. No, wait, she gets fire damage. Yeah, okay, these guys have sort of stopped spawning in, so I might be okay. I don't see any chance of me getting them back up here in a reasonable time frame, but. But at least they're really stopped spawning, so I can worry less about losing Kyle. And Enos. Because if Kyle goes down, Enos might be fucked. I want your longbow. Also, the archers are only spawning one at a time because a second one hasn't shown up. Which is another good thing. I guess. Alright, so next we have archers. Oh, great. There goes. There's a reason I needed torches. Okay. Move forward. Erica, move forward. Supply. Take. Dorky. Because there are universal locks in this place. really forgot how monotonous this part of the game was. Because you don't have much like this in future games. Unless you're actually potentially going slow with it. But it's still not so restrictive corridor -y. That sort of forces you to move like this. It's Hey, these enemies are really strong, I don't feel as prepared for them, so let me take it slow with it. Like they're I'm trying to remember a good example. I can't remember one off the top of my head. I know there was the stage in Awakening with the I'm gonna screw up his name up. I think it's Priam. It was supposed to be I the send of sorts, and so I think that one's a fairly slow and grueling one, but that's more of enemies are coming at you, and there's like 50 of them, and they're all super strong, and so that one was, hey, put myself in a corner, pair my robin with my chrome and basically let them come to me and I'd, you would either heal during my turns or take out one of the enemies that I knew I could take out in one of my turns but other than that they came to me and just it was a swarm and that one is also Un some bit of unfun because it's basically just praying you don't get critted badly but otherwise I consider that still better because there isn't a general rush to surviving <laughs> oh, you okay wait I have been using a steel bow, right? I'm hoping I was using a steel bow. I feel like I wasn't using a steel bow. Oh yeah, sword swords. Do that. And you can technically kill. If you don't miss. 
Good job, Kyle. Yeah, that's not the one who was waiting, and that was one person I'm not moving right now. Oh, so prior to, as it's going on, prior to me starting to play this, and um, people probably know, is there's a new Fire Emblem Fates expansion, so I've been, was, originally, busting through, trying to finish Fire Emblem, three houses for the third time, I am on a Golden Deer run. Which, I finally hit the point where it's actually fairly different, because I think anything pre-time skip is fairly similar outside of some of the character cutscenes. But overall, plot and battles are 99% the same, so I will end up skipping through most of those a bit faster. Whereas. I'm very curious as to what the new house is going to hold in terms of story and how it's integrated because how do you pick a house that is not considered a house? Just a question. Is it literally a fourth option or do you just recruit them? Is it actually a story path or is it just a recruit addition? So. See, it's being marketed as a story expansion and a new story path, so I'm gonna hope it is that. But I am also kind of tempering expectations. I can move over this. Isn't that a wall? Oh, it's not a wall, it's just some bridge between the grass. <laughs> that looks like a wall. But it's just like a stone, like a little trellis in between walkway and grass. Which, why is there just a random patch of grass in the middle of this? Okay, whatever. I am still hoping that anything after this net story expansion for Fire Emblem. Three houses that they go with the pattern of doing another remake. And my vote is now and always will be Path of Radiance Radiant Dawn Combo Collection. So, what I'm hoping for, if we'll actually get it, who knows? Because I think they're kind of going in order also. Which I'm not even sure what the next one in the order would be. They haven't released Roy's game as far as I'm aware, so maybe that one's next in line. Because I think also the other precedent for remaking some of them was also for bringing them to the West when they hadn't been prior, like Shadow Dragon, Shadows of Valencia. So, I do like the naming convention of any of the remakes being named Fire Emblem Echoes because they're all remakes so Nate like basically brand all your remakes as Echo games and so Shadow Valencia being one they could rename the combo pack between Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn um, to something Radiance as long as it has Radiant in the title no one We'll blink an eye, but that would basically be a way to combine the two into one game. And say Echoes, who's, um, Radiant Awakening. Yeah, actually, no Awakening wouldn't work, because that's the name of another game in the franchise. Uh, anyway, Radiant something would be fine.
Okay, I don't think I have to worry about guys coming up behind me anymore. And I moved Tessa's first, which was wrong to do, but I did. So, let's take some mid. And I shall be My fan is running, but that's less of a problem. <sighs> I think we're almost at the end of this, which is nice. Because this has gone on too fucking long. Tazla, are you getting sick of this level too and wanting to do a crit for me? Because that's beautiful. I'm not sure how I'm going to take out the main dude. The main dude has me worried. And Erica's did shit this round. So, I have very little confidence in my plan of actually leveling her anymore. Oh, are you also gonna do a crit? You know you both should have saved your crits for the actual final boss part of this level, right? Just saying. Okay, anyone else? Oh, yes, you guys. Which now that I'm less worried about more magic years coming up behind me, I can push Sayla forward. I figure Dolpha is my lower level one. Why Seth? Are they both of similar kind of level that you just want to do one? And one's closer. So your AI went to the one that was closer. Seems stupid. I didn't think those two would move. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't. You know. You have a fairly good resistance, I think. If you're only gonna get one damage off of them. That's nice. Which is rare. 